A 47-year-old B.C. man is in police custody tonight after someone opened fire at an Nanaimo sawmill this morning. Two people were killed, two others were wounded. The suspect is a former employee of the mill. The CBC's Chris Brown has been in Nanaimo all day. Chris? Wendy, for the moment, we can only guess why a 47-year-old man took a gun, went to his former workplace, and opened fire. What we do know is that it ended with deadly results. The first sign of trouble came just before 7 a.m. Someone had a gun inside the Western Forest Products lumber plant and was shooting people. One worker said the sound of the shotgun was like an explosion. All I heard was a big bang and that's it. I thought the barbecue tank blew up or one of the gas tanks. I heard one big bang. Multiple police officers immediately responded, including emergency response team members, with the first officer arriving three minutes after the 911 call came in. A lone male suspect was arrested without incident a few minutes later. As the injured were taken to hospital, people with loved ones inside began arriving, many with fear in their hearts, including Tally Campbell, whose stepdad was inside. We're standing here about 15 minutes and all of a sudden we see his, his truck drive out. It felt like a weight was just lifted off. Um, I've never seen him so shaken up before though. He is a tough guy. He's a carpenter. He's a, he's a millwright, you know. Uh, I've never seen him in tears before and shaking like he was when he drove out of here. The shooter apparently began his rampage in the parking lot before moving inside to an administrative office. By midday, police and company officials confirmed the grim casualty count. Four individuals received gunshot injuries and were transported to hospital by paramedics. Tragically, I can confirm that two of those people have now died from their injuries. I'd like to express our deepest concern and condolences to the families, friends, and co-workers for those uh, lives that were lost this morning. Employees and their families were told not to discuss anything until meeting with psychologists. We know the four people who got shot and I think two are dead. But Mehandra Joe Hall, who was inside the lunchroom, shared this. One of the guys in the, um, in the lunchroom heard that there was a shooting, so we just were said, no way, it can't be. You know, so that's when things, we were all huddled in the lunchroom, and people can't say that doesn't happen here. It does. Among the injured today, Tony Sudar, a company vice president. His wife told reporters he's recovering after being shot in the face. The RCMP has not released the names of the two men killed, but Wendy, workers here told us at least one of them was their boss. Thanks so much, Chris. Chris Brown.